Hello everyone. Today I'm making the review because it's very windy, cold, raining, and I don't like this weather. And I didn't do review for a long time. Now I don't like to review anyways all the time. But when these guys show up, I'm very excited. I was very excited about this GBL as well. I got this one brand new and the center brand new of the GBL. Not a bad center at all, and the Twitter uh, the, and the speakers are pretty nice. But Tanoi Reveal, I have a long history with these guys because they make revolution inside my head about high quality speakers. I used to have like four speakers, four pairs of speakers, but my friend convinced me to buy Tanoi Reveal. 601p the passive speakers and i said to him listen man i have so many speakers i really don't need something else i used to have the paradigm both 701 series one version two and i used to have the polk lsi 15. well i must say that this tanoi reveal when i got the 601p for me bay i bought it for me bay it was brand new pair of two speakers. I think 200 bucks, including shipping, or 220. I'm not exactly remember, but that was 12 years ago. And today, if you find the Tanoi Reveal 601P, 250 bucks used after 12 years, probably the same price. Yeah. So I don't have any any more. The 601P and I used to have the 601A, the active studio monitors, and both have 6 inch woofer. And this one have 8 inch, so I'm more excited. More excited. And because I have so many, so much experience with the reveal series, very good experience. That speakers that I liked. Yeah, because all the time I used to have at least one pair of Tanoi Reveal, the studio monitors. So that is the 8 inch woofer, board in the bottom, 1 inch tweeter, and I think they look pretty nice, pretty nice, I like the curves, and these speakers have 140 watts by amp monoblock, each speaker have its own amplifier, that's the second one over there, and as you see, inputs XLR, unbalance, and here we have a tiny small one that you plug your phone and here we have position of the speaker uh, right or left and I might say I must say I must say that I must to say this thing you know Zeos the guy from YouTube have a lot of experience with the GBL studios but he was talking about imaging uh, you know how this two studio 570 can fill up the center of the space uh, when I tell you what my friends this is the Tanoi reveal in imaging and sound separation I'm not gonna say knockout because you know I, I like the GBL a lot as well but uh, the Tanoi I must to say must to say to be honest I enjoy to listen for the Tanois little bit more yeah and i'm careful careful with my words anyway so this what what else okay we have eq not exactly eq but uh, really not a many options you have high boost and high cut and in the center is natural volume control well this amplifier i must say that is very powerful uh, one problem that i used to have with the gbl studio monitors that uh, the amplifier I, I have to go like three quarters with the tannoy i can go single quarter to the minimum that means i use 25 percent of the power that the amplifier offering and is enough enough so we have plenty of power to drive the speakers and this tannoy no disappoint me at all they always have tight deep bass and the separation in the high is phenomenal excellent separation of the tweeter 
And these stands are beautiful stands, but I figure out little by little that this is my favorite stands. Even though that you have only three places that you put on the rug. Yeah, one, two, and three over there. But these are the most, I find out that three feet are more balanced and more easy to balance than four feet. And with this stand is, is pretty cool because it depends where is not the balance area in your house and you can stand them this way or twist it that way or twist it when this fin is for the front. So, so, so many options and the spikes are adjustable. So I really like these stands. Well, anyway, I must say that this Tanoi, I love the speakers. But if you're talking about studio or mixing studio inside your house, I would say these speakers are going to fit for more than music. Not for all music, because um, if you're looking for jazz or classical music, where most of the music is in the center of the speaker, somewhere in the mid-range area, so this Tanoi may be not going to be the right speakers for you, because they're... The purpose of this Tannoy Reveal a 2 in my opinion, is show you the bass, how to correct the bass and the highs, and a little bit above the bass and a little bit under the bass. I mean, the mid-range is fine. I mean, it's very clean and all of that. But if you're looking to correct sound in area for vocals, in the area that is about 1K, this Tannoy not focus on this area the more focus in the areas that above and under so for modern music this is gonna be excellent studio monitors but for as I say classical jazz vocals and all of that you probably not the right studio monitors for you yeah and if you want to just to buy them and listen in your house I think this is one of the best price speakers that can be for the price outstanding results i can listen for these speakers all day long not only not tired i actually excited from the sound the same experience that i have with the tannoy reveal 601p when i put the 601p next to the paul kelesi 15 the paradigm speakers that i don't remember the model but it was floor standards and the Bose 701 series one, I must say, the Tannoy 601P always was a speaker that I used to go back to him, to listen to him. Anyway, excellent speakers, not going to be the right studio monitors for any type of music. But overall, excellent product from Tannoy that definitely make me feel very happy from the speakers, the sound. And the look, and the look is beautiful look as well.
Love her, dude. 